Hey there folks, this is GreenyXI welcoming you to a brand new Let's Play. Today we're going to be kicking off Final Fantasy 2. This is the Pixel Remaster version that came out not too long ago and I'm playing on the PS, PS4 version on the PS5. Um, so yeah, my bit of history about the game. It might as well be blind, but I'm not going to label it blind because back on the PS1 I did play through the... Uh, the, the PS1 version that was a part of Final Fantasy Origins. So I have played through it all the way once and I have played a little bit back on the PSP version but I couldn't be bothered at the time. <laughs> so we're going to play through it now and it is not my favourite of the games I'll be honest with you but I will explain why as we go along and I'll try not to make it too negative or anything. Let's check out options before doing anything else. Language, font style. No, I don't want to... Mm. I think modern I'm, I'm happier with. Background music is... I'm going to keep the new arrangement on for that, just to check it out. You know, it's new. Why not try it? Uh, all the volumes and stuff, and that seems to be about it. Control settings, confirm, run with hold in circle, open close menu with triangle, open close map with square, auto battle on or off with square, okay. And if we go through all of it, switch party member, L1 and L1. Page up and down with there. Minimap on or off with R2. Always going to keep that on, I'm sure. Uh, pause menu with options. Default speed. <coughs> Click L3. I'm going to keep that on run as much as possible. And counters on and off with R3. Okay, so I don't know what boosts you have for Pharmacy 2 because there isn't a EXP system, so I am curious about that. Extras, what we got? Music player, gallery, and bestiary. So, yeah, pretty typical stuff. Let's get cracking. Oh, okay, we can name them. Firion, I think we'll keep him the same. Guy. <laughs> it's the worst name for any character, but I'm going to keep it anyway. <laughs> okay, let's get cracking. Yeah. Back on the PS1, there was a cinematic to open it up, but I doubt they got it in this one. Ooh, not cinematic, but it does have a sort of opening thing. The piece is at an end. Here comes the Empire. I've never seen this before. Because like I said, it had a it had a um opening cinematic on the PS1. It's Final Fantasy 4 all over again! Final Fantasy 2 and 4 are the same thing. <laughs> the Emperor of Palamecia has called forth monsters from the underworld and has begun his campaign for world conquest. It's already got more story than the first game. <laughs> the rebel army arose in the kingdom of Finn to thwart the Emperor's something. Chaos? Something like that. It's pretty quick. Ah. But the Rebel's castle fell to an all-out assault by the Empire. The Empire's taken over. I've heard a lot of um, similarities, you know, people saying about the similarities between this and Star Wars. Fancy 12 as well. Left with little choice, the Rebels withdrew to the remote town of Aste. I think it was Aste. It's too quick. It's really quick. Four years from Finn also found themselves fleeing the Imperial forces. They had lost their appearance at the hands of the Empire. But their escape wasn't over. Of course they gotta be orphans. <laughs> it wouldn't be an RPG without it. <laughs> Ooh, we can actually do it. Let's attack! So it's the sort of game... Okay, I'm learn. I'm having to learn it a little bit myself as well. You do all the commands and then all your characters do it and the enemies at the same time. I gave. Ooh! We need to level grind. <laughs> the end. We're being revived. Is this black magic? Will he live? He will. I sense a strong life force within him. He should regain consciousness soon. We found them like this on the escape from Finn, fallen from terrible wounds. By the time we brought them here, I feared it was already too late. His life is not in danger. This sigil will strengthen his life force. We should let him rest now. Of course. We'd best be off to the meeting. I imagine they're already waiting for us. If the Empire is allowed to complete the Dreadnought they're building in Bafsk, their attack will begin in earnest. We cannot sit idly by and watch. We must act. So they've got to go to a meeting instead of checking that somebody's being revived properly. And I, I think that's the same as my, my office at work. People are always killing each other. <laughs> they, they still live somehow. <laughs> Where am I? Leon? Maria? Guy? <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> Who thought Guy was a good idea? It's almost as bad as Clive from 16. Fabian, you're alive. I, th I thought I thought you'd... I'm fine, Maria. You seem alright too, guy. But wait, where's Leon? Princess of Finn saved us. But Leon, not you. Oh, is he gonna talk like a caveman? I see. Don't worry, I'm sure he's okay. Oh, 
Leon dead. Guy sad. Oh, I love it. I love Final Fantasy, even the ones I like the least. See if we gain your strength. Very good. Your life force is strong indeed. It's strong with this one. <laughs> it was you who saved us, wasn't it? Thank you. Forgive me, Your Highness, but there is something I must ask of you. Please let's join the Rebel Army. I could never allow such a thing. You know nothing of battle. You would only be throwing your lives away. You should return to your homes. But we have no homes. Not anymore. The Imperials attacked on our parents. Our parents. Look at her using her feminine wiles and sad story to try and get her away. <laughs> Go on, Maria. You got this. I'm truly sorry, but that changes nothing. Oh, <laughs> no hard. <laughs> I cannot permit you to join our army. If you've nowhere else to go, you're welcome to stay here in Altair. Altair. If you know our password, you should be able to live here well enough. The password is Wild Rose. Remember it well. Right, I remember this being something from this game. You actually have to learn keywords and give them to different people to progress the story and stuff like that. So if it's red, Wild Rose, we learn and then we ask about it. The Wild Rose is the insignia of the Kingdom of Finn. It represents our hope for a flourishing future of strength and beauty. But what will become of Finn now? I've heard that the Empire's captives suffer there in confinement even as we speak. Maria, your brother Leon is missing, is he not? Is he possible that he's being held in Finn as well? But Finn is far too dangerous to travel to now. The Emperor's beasts still stalk the streets. Gaining entrance to the city will not be easy. The man at my right is Minwu, the white wizard who tended your wounds. Speak with him before you leave. He may be of some assistance. Um, okay. Ooh, controls popped up there. So, like we saw before, I think just random encounters is the most important thing. And auto battle. Alright. Let's talk to Minwu then. I see a destiny clear. You know, I used to think Minwu was a woman when I played before. <laughs> Even if it said it wasn't. I see a destiny clearly. The future it holds seems closely entwined with my own. You'll begin by journeying to Finn. That's the first step toward realising your fate. Hint, hint. No, no, oh, Wild Rose. You've wasted no time using the password. Heed well the information it will bring you. You can learn much of value by listening. I offer you one more bit of advice before you depart for Finn. Those who have fallen in battle can be revived at a sanctuary. Should one of you fall before you reach Finn, Go without hesitation to the nearest sanctuary. Got you. Thank you. Oh, we can talk to her again. Uh, uh, it looked like it was important because they came out, but it was just to learn Wild Rose again if needed. The port of Palum lies not far east of you. Like Palum. Like, um, again, Final Fantasy IV. But a lake separates us, so you won't be able to reach the town without a canoe. Okay. Like I said, I, I, I can't remember much about this game, so I'll be trying to figure it all out as we go. Hint to Finn, are we? It's not my place to tell you what to do, but I'd reconsider it if I were you. It's a dangerous place to be, you see. The city is crawling with the Empire's monsters. To the north lies a small village called Gatria. Judging by the look of you, you'd be lucky to make it that far. Before you go anywhere, I suggest you visit the room with a sigil that saved your life. Here you'll find people who can teach you a thing or two. I think you're going to need all the advice they can spare. I will absolutely be going there. Okay, the war room. Got you. How did they say to change? Right, default speed. There we go. So let's go back up here. What are they going to teach us? Ooh, where do all these old men come from? Yeah, chests, yeah. They can contain things like items and gill. Many chests also hold rare items you'll not find for sale. If you're lucky enough to come across such items, hold on to them. But trust chests aren't all gill and glory by any means. Some chests conceal monsters. Final Fantasy 1 had a million of those, didn't it? There's no way to know what's inside the chest until you open it. But monsters often accompany especially good loot. Okay. Monsters, oh, okay. Different types. Some are vulnerable to certain types of attacks. The undead are weak against fire. Aquatic monsters are weak against lightning. Yeah, I got this. There are also monsters that absorb particular elemental attacks. Casting fire on a monster made of flame will heal it. You can damage zombies and other undead with restorative magic like cure and items like garlic. Garlic. Be careful when using spells that steal HP or MP, such as Drain and Osmos. When used against undead, these can backfire and hurt you instead. They do the opposite of what they should. Uh, flee? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> you can escape by selecting flee. No point in fighting and losing battle. If a foe's too difficult, you're better off fleeing. Think carefully. Okay. Uh, status menu. Go on then. You can develop the attributes and abilities displayed on the stats menu by fighting battles. Attributes such as strength and magic will change according to the actions you take in battle. Yeah, like he's saying, you don't level up in this game like in most Final Fantasy games. You, uh, you... You do things, so if you attack, your strength increases sometimes at the end of a battle. If you get hurt a lot, then your HP increases. If you use a lot of magic, your magic increases or MP increases. You know, it's that sort of system. Not something I like, and it's the reason I don't like this game as much as most others. Most other Final Fantasies. 
If a character attacks, his or her strength and weapon skill improve. Similarly, if a character uses magic, his or her spirit, intellect, and magic level improve. 11 different attributes. Yeah, go on then. HP, if a character loses HP, his or her maximum HP will increase. Participating in lots of battles can also increase maximum HP. If a character has MP drops, his or her max MP will rise. Strength, attacking during battle will increase it. Stamina, if a character loses HP during battle, his or her stamina will improve. I don't know what stamina actually is. Spirit, using white magic will increase the cast of spirit, so white magic does more. Agility, battling while your evasion is high will raise agility. Uh, using black magic in battle will increase the caster's intellect, so more damage with black magic. Magic, if a character's MP drops during battle, his or magic will rise. Magic will rise, is that? I thought that was intelligence. Hmm. Accuracy, a strength rises, so will accuracy. Equipping better weapons will also improve accuracy. Being attacked by foes will raise evasion. Equipping a shield will also improve evasion. When foes cast spells on a character, his or her magic defense will rise. As you can see, it never hurts to try. Yeah, okay, okay. Weapons, seven weapon categories. Swords, spears, axes, staves, staves? Knives, bows, unarmed. Swords, spears, axes, staves, and knives are one-handed weapons and can be equipped along with a shield. It's also possible to equip two one-handed weapons, one in each hand. Equipping a bow requires... But why would you do that? Is that... You'd rather have a shield, don't you? I would. Equipping a bow requires two free hands, but allows a character to attack with the same damaging force from the rear row of the party formation. So this game introduces the party um, row system. The first game didn't have that. Fighting unarmed is another splendid choice and can be as powerful as any weapon. Unfortunately, equipping a shield cuts an unarmed combatant's attack power in half. So if you plan to fight unarmed, it's probably wise to just skip shields altogether. I got you. I'm not going to be doing that, but it's a thing. Skill levels. Divided into two broad categories, weapon skills, magic skills. Weapon skill levels are divided by weapon types such as swords and axes. Similarly, magic skill levels are divided by spell. Spells like cure and fire each have their own skill level. Attacking with a given type of weapon improves the corresponding weapon skill. As the skill lev levels rise, your attack and accuracy with those types of weapons will likewise improve. Casting a given spell improves the corresponding magic skill. Spells become more powerful and effective as the skill levels rise. So my plan, I think, is to use a certain type of weapon with each character. Um, yeah, I think that's the best way of going about it, and a certain type of magic with each character as well. Armor. Four types. Shield, helm, body armor, gloves. Shields are equipped in the same fashion as one-handed weapon in either the right or land, uh, left hand. Since wearing a shield only requires one hand, you can also equip any one-handed weapon along with it. Should you so choose, you can equip two shields, one in each hand. This makes you attack empty-handed, however. Helms are equipped on the head, gloves on the hands, and body armor on the body. Provided you can afford it, you should always keep your party protected with good armor. Yeah, we'll give it a go. Uh, magic, okay. Two schools, black and white. White specializes in healing and support. Cure restores HP, life revives characters. Black magic, on the other hand, specializes in offensive magic. Blizzard deals ice damage, thunder, lightning, and so on. Characters can learn both black and white in any combination they choose. However, a character can only learn a maximum of 16 spells. You can use the forget command to remove any spell characters already, already learned. I don't think you get like fire 2, fire 3 in this game, do you? If I remember right. You just have fire, but it keeps leveling up kind of thing as you go. I think. Forgotten spells can be learned again, but their levels reset to 1. Oh shit. That's a big uh, consequence. Formations. Okay, so you can either put your characters in the front or the back with it. In the front row, they can use any weapon to attack. Characters in the rear only do half damage when attacking, except with bows or magic. They also receive half damage from enemy attacks. Assign each character to the row that best suits his or her abilities. Okay. And key terms. In the course of conversation with someone, a particularly important word may come up. When this happens, three commands will appear. Ask, learn, and key items. Select learn to commit the key term to memory. You can use ask to ask people about the key term. Command that only certain words can be learned in this way. To show someone an item from your inventory, select key items. When you learn new words or find rare items, you should ask people about the words or show them what you found. Okay, so that seems to be everything. Nothing happens. No. Oh. <laughs> Let's check the menu. Ooh. Maybe it's automatically put in the back, and I will be keeping it like that. As you can see, formation, you can... <laughs> Do what you like. The other two are going to be stuck in the front, and Maria's in the back. She's going to be our healer and a bit of magic dealing, I think. We'll go with that. Equipment-wise, broadsword, bow, and axe. And I like, actually, what they've done to default. And I will probably... Do that. What does magic interference mean? I've never seen that before. That's an odd one. Okay. So we haven't got many weapons to start with. Obviously, it's given us the default stuff, and that's about it. So we need to get some more 
before we go too far into the game. Magic, I don't think we got any. No. Items, no healing items. That's interesting. Status. No, this 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 is a default way that they've done this game. Strength for Maria is really low, so she will be the magic user. Intellect is high. Spirit is the same for everyone. Anyone can be a healer from the start, I guess that means. Uh, stamina. Hers is really low, because, again, she's a magic user. Guy has really high strength and stamina. Firion seems to be the sort of all-rounder, so he can do whatever. He's the main hero, you know? He can do, do whatever he likes. So, yeah, there we go. Uh, key terms, we've only got Wild Rose. It gives you a hint about what it means. Config. Continue order battle. Set order battle to remain on the next battle. No, I'd rather not have that. Um, default speed. Um, yeah, it seems to be... A lot of the stuff we saw before. Boosts. Encounters on. Okay, on or off. Gil, one times up to four times or down to none. If you want those uh, extra difficult runs, I guess. Weapon skill level boost. Set the amount of levels of skill level progression for weapons and shield. Magic skill. Set the amount of skill level progression for magic. Attributes. Right, so that's easier. That's like the XP boost, but done this way. Increase your max HP after a fixed number of, battle, of wins in battle. <gasps> so you can just... You get more max HP just for winning battles in this version, yeah? I don't think that was a thing before, was it? I, I might be wrong, but... And a quick save. Okay. That's really nice. We're going to be doing a lot of level grinding before we actually leave to do anything else. King, King of Finn. An arrow struck me in the back during the battle, leaving me in this state. I'm surprised they didn't go for the knee. For the knee. Perhaps I really have grown old. My daughter Hilda now serves as regent. You should speak with her. I have, I have. All good. Oh wait, we spoke to this queen. Didn't we? No. Okay, doesn't seem to be much else going on around here. So let's try downstairs. Gordon, the prince of Kashuan, is hiding out here in Altair. Don't know what happened, but something's made him lose faith in himself. Okay. A potion. Very nice. Is that just 50 HP or a small amount of HP? Okay. Okay. Princess Hilda fled here when Finn was sacked. She's doing a remarkable job of leading the rebel army while his majesty recovers. Okay. Anything else going on here? There's a... Seems to be an inn, but I don't think we can actually use it. Right. Let's go. I'm Paul, greatest thief in all the world. They've yet to invent the loot I can't burgle or steal. The Imperial coffers have kept my purse fat with gill lately. I never steal from the rebels, you can be sure of that. <laughs> but that's interesting, isn't it? This building is not even in the castle who start. I really thought it was, but... Mm, nope. Zero gill to rest up and heal. Does it depend on how much health we got left and stuff? Because it wouldn't be free, surely. Town of Alta, the Imperial forces haven't been deployed this far yet. I suppose it's only a matter of time. Okay. Armor and stuff. I didn't notice how much gill we have, so let's have a gander. 400? Not bad. Okay. So if we go for more clothes... We... No, we don't need clothes. I think magic interfere... Is magic interference a good thing or bad? Like, if something interferes with magic, it would be bad, right? You want more than that? Or am I just being... Hmm. She's got a bow, so we can't give her the buckler. She don't need a shield. We've got two in stock, though, so why even... Ah, it's a two-handed weapon, is it? It doesn't say. Yeah, it must be a two-handed weapon, so... At least we don't have to buy shields for anyone except for Firion. That's a plus, right? Uh, leather caps. We could get three of those. Leather gloves, I do want some of those. Right, let's get equipment. All that stuff is good to have some armor, right? Yeah, the higher magic interference, the worse by the looks of it. Because it's gone red as it's gone higher, see? So. Yeah, I won't be giving her armor in that case. Yeah. Her magic interference is really low. And, but so is Guy's. That's an odd one. Like, considering the sort of character he is. Weird. Okay. Uh, we got a bit of money left. Let's check out the weapon shop as well, even though I'm pretty sure 
I'm happy with what we got. Tabool, the fellow over in that weapon shop, is one fine blacksmith. I think something's been bothering him lately. Do you reckon? Uh, ask, Wild Rose. The geezer act is just a cover. My name's Tabool, and I'm the best darn blacksmith in the rebel army. Something tells me we'll need him later, because as I spoke to him, watch this. It does something like it's important, so... Right, I could change the staff. Mm, the bow to a staff. Because I'll be using a lot of magic with her anyway. And the more magic you use, the more MP you get and stuff like that, so... What do you reckon? I'm not actually sure what to go for. Can you have two staffs on? Staves. Staves. <laughs> I think we'll leave it as both and Yeah. I guess I guess we will. We can always change at some point. Might not be the smartest thing to do later on, but still. Magic, okay. So we've got enough for one thing. I think we'll go for cure to kick things off. And if we use the cure tomb. I'm gonna use it on Maria. There we go. We'll have to buy I think I'll buy two more Kira Tombs as well, so the other two can do a bit of healing as well. So we've got a lot of money to save up. Have we been heavy building this place now? Item shop. Different stat ailment. Stuff. Expensive. Potions. We could do with more potions, but maybe later. Phoenix Downs to revive. Ethers. Ooh, look how expensive. Oh, an, e an elixir. Maybe at the end of the game, you know. <laughs> my name's Gordon. I was once a prince of Kashuan. Now I'm nothing but a coward. When my brother Scott fell in battle, I abandoned my kingdom and fled here. I'm afraid Hilda will turn me away that I haven't even asked her. I've been stolen here. Hmm. Okay. How's this? What's this? Ah, it's the revival place he was talking about. It's so Dragon Quest, isn't it? Paul's a skilled thief, but don't worry, you can trust him. He only steals from the Imperials. I can trust him. Look at that, it looks like it's a white magic shop, doesn't it? Because it's, uh, it's white. No, no, white and black, or grey, or I don't know. <laughs> Something. Okay, <laughs> so it told us the first thing we needed to do was go up to... Oh, look at the map. And the map music is amazing in this game as well. But, okay, so it told us to go up to... Um, the next town. Fabul, was it? But before we do that, let's save first, actually. I don't want to have to redo all that. Here we go. Let's have a battle or two before we do anything else. Okay, so it's typical turn-based Final Fantasy stuff. We went to all the commands first. That bow and arrow did barely anything, but that's what you'd expect, and we won't be using it to attack too much, I don't think. Look at the bars increasing. The more you use your weapons, the more the they increase and then the numbers increase and you get better and you do more hits and things like that. We didn't get much gil from that, only four gil. Wow, I thought we would have had a lot more. Two hornets again. I'll just mash X. There we go. So, level two for them. Firion's sword leveled up, Firion's shield, Maria's bow and Guy's axe. So evasion went up for Firion. Maria's evasion went up as well? Somehow? I don't know. Anyways, let's have one more fight. There is something I want to do, and I want to increase the the max HP. Um, and you do that by lowering your own character's HP as far from the max as you can. Oh shit, he's poisoned. So, in that case, what you do is you attack yourself. One MP to Kiwa, but as Kiwa levels up, it'll take more MP and stuff like that. Anyways. I will heal up there. Not because he really needed it, but hopefully it'll it'll help out. Yeah. So attack your own characters and your max HP will increase faster. You know. Guy's HP went up. Look at that. 50 more. But yeah, it's not only... You don't only get more max, H, max HP from attacking your own characters. Like we saw on the menu, you can choose to turn it on or off. Leg eater. <laughs> um, you can also have a certain amount of battles and it will increase our characters, your, your party's max HP as well. You know. I'm just going to keep on using Kiwa with Maria for now. 
Kira 1 by looks of it. I'm guessing as it levels up, it goes to Kira 2, Kira 3. Um, that's definitely a guess. So, heal yourself. Yeah. So, what I'm going to do, I will be ending the episode off after this fight now. And then we are going to... Oh, look. The poison disappeared. It's odd. But, yeah. And then we... Uh, I'm going to do some level grinding. Quote. <laughs> More max MP for Maria. Good. That's what she wants. How's our ma money looking? 179. So, yeah. I'll keep on like this. What I'm going to do in between the episodes... I'm going to check on the boosts to get money to go up quicker. Nothing else. Just the money, I think. Uh, we see two. There it is. So, yeah. We'll get some money so I don't have to... Take too long doing it. So, I'm going to leave it off here. I hope you've enjoyed this. It's been a bit... Um, I'm a bit nervous and I'm trying to take everything in because I haven't played this game for so long and stuff like that. So, this has been Greeny XI. Hope you've enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again in a bit when we head up north and I'll show you what our stats are like next time. See you in a bit, folks.